All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, ooh, we have been battered to a pulp last episode. Um, not una completely unable to make any headway against Razors. So, our current current team now seems not powerful enough. So we are gonna have to really regroup here. I have a few ideas on how we can achieve this, and that involves going back to the stronghold. To acquire ourselves some new eggs. Maybe that will help us short our team because right now we're basically playing 5v6. So that's not good. Vero, that's not good. Let's try again. Targo, that's not good either. Or is it? I don't know. I was looking for a carry, like something that can do a lot of damage. Um, Targo and Vero are not necessarily either of those. And I'm now out of shift stones, right? Uh, I have... Sorry, I'm out of switch stones. I have two shifts, three skill potions and no shift stones. Uh, next thing I want to do is to... Put me up with some... Let me check what's here. Mango and carrot. Good to know. Uh, where is it? Crystal shards. I use a lot of those. Um, only the small portions are available now. None of these are good. Okay. The other thing I can do is to grind Horizon Beach out. Uh, there is a shift stone waiting for me at the end of it, so I may as well go grab it. Right. Uh, and unlock the walk point while I'm there. I was hoping there was no need for this, but... Uh, Seems like this is what it has come down to. So let's go. Uh, the monsters I've unlocked so far on Horizon Beach are going to be of fairly low level, so let's just skip through them. Mm, one more thing. Uh, I highly doubt Sutsune is the answer. I don't know, Sutsune is very squishy. Very, very squishy. The only good thing about Sutsune really is that... I mean, I haven't even tried Sutsune yet. I'm writing it off without even trying. Like, it has fiery stabs, which is the offensive type I need to get rid of the icy blob early on. Because I think the biggest problem early on is the icy blob. It's causing a lot of problems. So if I use Sune as a lead, that could help, right? The thing is, I don't have a lot of skills that I definitely want to max out my survivability and tankiness. Um, yeah, and my offensive stats while I'm at it. I might as well do this. Critical chance. Uh, heroic defense is good. Uh, backstab is good. I may as well get this. Chance up. You know what? Flinching Flame is actually not the worst thing to get. But this one just does more raw damage because of the bleed. Mm. We 
regardless, I think I'm going to need to invest a lot into PHP. What's this? I wonder if I should use a shift stone on Sutsune. That's a big investment. Because I only have two ship, uh, ship stones left. I do get a lot of stats in return, and these stacks are not removed. Stacks not removing is quite a big deal, I must say. Lion doesn't apply bleed stacks. Akluk does, but I don't plan to have both Akluk and Sutsune out at the same time. Should I have them out at the same time? They're really becoming like my aquatic bleed team. Anyway, let's move on along for now while we ponder over this. Basically, I'm looking for a substitute carry. Uh, I've identified my biggest problem is that. Um, oh, I can talk to you. I forgot what he gives me, but whatever. As I was saying, my biggest problem is that when Akluk dies, it's basically game over because I have zero offense left in the tank. Uh, can I go here? And so the solution is basically to uh, find another offensive uh, monster. So I don't really want both Sutsune and Aklu out at the same time. I want, I usually want two defensive um, cores, or not cores, two yeah, defensive pieces wrapped around uh, offensive core. That would be ideal. That's the idea. Uh... Wait, I can unlock it from the other side. I can take this fight. These are nearly spawned. Like that's the hardest part for me is these monsters that I'm fighting right now are not even that hard. And they are levels above me, but the Razor's fight is... I, I really just can't take the Razor's fight. The monsters are shifted and they are... They have so many ridiculously powerful abilities and everything. Uh, I must say, the 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 the, the, the Akluk is not applying chill as often as I would like it to. It really should be applying more. There we go. Whoa! 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 Where did you come from? <laughs> hey, did you see that? 
It just popped out and now I'm teleported to the top. What? Okay, that is a... I wouldn't say it's a bug, that's a thing that happened. Uh. This is hilarious. Uh, sure. Also, I should do something here. Um, let's move Healing Wave out. And actually, that should be our main mode of healing. Yeah, I want to try this strategy where instead of removing debuff, I'm just healing. At least for the Keeper fight, because I feel like there is no way to remove the copious amount of debuffs that are coming on. Mass Restore only removes one, which is way too few. So, instead of trying to stay afloat on debuffs, I may as well instead uh, concede the debuffs and just heal as much as possible. We'll see if that works out. get past this? I guess I do. As I said, I'm not I'm really really not interested in uh, fighting a 15 turn battle against Thornishes. Alright, I'm here to hit the warp point and then go a little further. Because there's a guy I want to talk to who can potentially assist me in getting more eggs. Help me with team building basically. Oh, magma pillar. I'll be honest, that's another monster I don't really want to fight against right now. It's gonna take a long time. Although it is weak to ice, so I may as well give it a go. I just shred it straight up. Let's give it a shot. And I oh, that's painful. Let's try healing wave. Yeah, that gives me a lot of health back. Uh, take this and take this. Oh, they're still alive. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Okay, we're still alive. Cool. Uh, now I'll remove the debuffs. Then, uh, yeah, you can go. Yeah, if there were a way to improve the rate at which I hand out chill, that would be Yeah, magma pillars are so defensive. Okay. Ah, oh, actually, I should have moved them. Ah, uh, whatever. It's good. Cool. Alright. Uh, I failed to find the guy I was looking for. Where is he? I think everyone knows our good friend Bex. He's somewhere. Just to find out where. There he is. Switch 
Stone. Alright. That is potentially one more monster in the pocket. Uh, yeah, we can go for this. You know what? I want the region more. Uh, forge. But this does more damage. Nice, I got the chill on the target I wanted. Oh my. Uh, okay, the warlock is painful. I don't like that. Uh, I think I can do this. Alright, so this should hurt. And this should hurt. Doesn't hurt enough apparently. Okay, big Q time. Yeah, I'm wondering maybe if I should focus more on single target attacks rather than what I'm doing, which is trying to spread all the damage around. Which doesn't seem to be working very well. The Ice Spear Volley just doesn't seem to be very effective. But even the single target attacks, they do take some time to- Oh gosh! Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, that's very bad. Jeez, I underestimated how much damage that would be. Oh no! Okay, good. Sit down. Okay, big Q. Ah, skill potion, that's great. Okay, uh, they are all 27 now. That's good because for Lion, I can actually get Fire Claws 4, which is good against Ice Block. Uh, Arclut. Honestly, Aqua Blast is not a bad call. Or do I just want more defense? Let's heal self as well, but I don't think that's strictly necessary. Uh, do I have any stat boosting skills? No. Honestly, I'm very tempted to take Aqua Blast here. But I can't ignore the power of more stats. Or even offensive stats, like this. I, I think I just want stats, don't I? I'm gonna be doing claws most of the time. 390 versus 330. With water boost. I'll take defense. I have two crit pluses there, but... Man, I don't know. I think I need a defense more. My defense is not very good. Okay, and Koi... Again, more stats, right? Hybrid Mastery, I think. Yes, for more heals. Okay, uh, back to... Do I want Targot? Is Targot even good? Dark Shifted one at that. Gonna do a quick look up for Targot. Um, 
it's it's just a tank. Like, do I really want a tank? Like a pure tank? Who just uses protector every turn? The thing is, it won't protect me against multi-target attacks. So I don't know. Um, there is something that I should look out for, though, which is Bex. Ah, I need to win a keeper duel with Bex, though. Uh, we can give it a try, though, because it does reward me with an egg. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, here's what we need to do. If I'm going to use Tsutsune, give Tsutsune a try, I need to give it a weapon that is better than Claws 2. Um, First, how much mana do I need? 150. 150 is very reasonable. I can easily hit 150. Uh, I mean, I'm already hitting 150, and in fact, I should downgrade my... Uh, this... to like a bracelet. Yeah, this is more than enough. Gauntlet... with trick chance... Chance quote. Yeah, this seems fine. Alright, then we up our claws twice. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. I am mixed. I am mixed. Uh, I have critical hybrid and the hybrid mastery. So I do want a weapon that is mixed. That gives mana regen. Is there such a weapon? I do need the mana region. Kunai. I need a kunai. Alright, let's go find a kunai then. Oh seriously, there's no kunai? Oh gosh. Oh, uh, there's no kunai. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Uh. What did I just do? Claws 5. Mm. Uh. What's an alternative way to do this? I can give Tsutsune the moon sword and switch the bracelet out for the sustain ring. If I unequip this, I do have enough mana regen, I think. Uh, and the moon sword is just pure un unadulterated power. Okay, sure. Let's give that a shot. Not the most conventional way to build a monster, but sure. Uh, before that. Equip the moon sword. Moon sword. Abyssal blade was an option as well, but let's do moon sword. Ah, the kunai is with the koi. I could have swapped things around. Like the koi doesn't need the kunai as much as. Oh wow, it goes all the way up to 5. Okay. 320. Okay, those are some offensive stats. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen offensive stats like this in quite a while. Um, but it's not very useful if, yeah, I fall very quickly to enemies. So I have 3 skill points left. I really should up my defenses, but I see that that has maxed out, so the only thing left to do is actually to add offense. 
hilariously enough. Um, can we do better than that? No, that's not good. Is there any point in upping these? I don't think so. Oh, there really isn't anything to spend my skill points on. Uh, geez. There really isn't, huh? I don't need the mana if I have allies with passive mana region out. Mm. What are my consumables? No. Ooh. Crit damage, huh? I am very frail. So frail. <laughs> this is unacceptably frail, I think. Compared to everything else. We can try. Can I change my equipment to like a hide or something? I will lose crit chance, which is quite a big deal. There's probably a hide. There's a gauntlet 4, why am I not using that? There's also a height 4. Oh, I love crit chance though. <laughs> we'll try this. Um, Okay, we'll try this. Let's go to the magma chamber and defeat Bex. Or at least try to defeat Bex. It's a deeper battle. We might not win. Uh, oh, the assumption here is that I can find him as well. <laughs> that is uh, quite an assumption to make. Is he here? No. He's down here. There he is. Okay. Oh, yeah, Vordinoi. Okay. Um, since you have Vordinoi, I'll open with Sutsune and try to take out Vordinoi ASAP. Let's see how good Sutsune is. Or how bad Sutsune is. Um, I get two moves. Do I just forget about the buffs and go straight for Forge? I think I do. Right. I could get agility on everyone, which negates damage, or I could straight up just forge. I think forge is better. Let's, let's do forge. And then... Uh, lightning... Oh wow, I can straight up take out the goblin, huh? It does have dodge. You know what? I really do want to take out the goblin, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try that. Nope, oh, failed. That's not good. Oh, it's so squishy!
I don't like the way he did, the, the way this battle is going. I don't like it at all. Um. Oh my gosh, this is pathetic. How is the Goblin Archer not dead yet? I have burned on it and everything. Remind me, what monster level is this? 30. Okay, that explains everything. Uh, uh, the Bex battle is going to be easy. I'm not. <laughs> Racers is going to be easier than this. Oh gosh. What have I done? I. I so, so that is way too squishy. Way, way, way too squishy. But do I have any other choice? I'll try the battle again, but after that terrifyingly fast defeat, I have no hope. Like, Susanne wasn't even doing much damage, that's the scariest part. Like, I I've invested so much into offense, and then it's not really critting. So, like, what am I supposed to do? Let's try, let's get some practice with this. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is very, very um, disheartening. Um, okay, so I'm supposed to focus down the ice block, like so. Yeah, that's reasonable damage. Okay, let's... Uh, healing wave here is fine. Um, as promised, we're gonna focus down stuff. Oh, I'm out of mana because I am chill. Just go down so quickly, ah! That should be dead, right? Apparently not. Why am I doing so little damage? Oh, right, I'm weakened. I'm super weakened. Uh, yeah, duh. I really should let Susume go last. I, I mean, go second last. Uh, yeah, I'm not thinking this is true. Yeah, like this. Then. Oh, that was a slog. Okay, um, there is one problem with my lineup, which is that I am being too marginal with the amount of mana region. I need to overcompensate for the mana region because I am going to get chilled.
Well, if I can up this to a sustain 5, that would be nice. You want to give this a try? I'm not very hopeful. You could also say that Magma Pillar and Grammy are the problem. Like, at this point, they are not... They are... W look at the stats. They don't even have as much health as Tsutsune. Um, they are not fulfilling their roles. I think it might be time to swap in... Minor and uh, roots. since they are shifted, uh, they have more innate stats, so hopefully they are better. Right, so let's swap these in uh, and level batch them up. Okay, let's see what skill set makes sense for them. Um, I will get the Goblin Aura. Mm. Oh, Forge is pretty darn good. It's a support skill. Okay, yeah. We'll leave it at that. Um, what does this do? Barrier Self. Or Burn Enemy. Hmm. I think we probably want both. Then there's Lava Wave is probably the least useful. Although Incinerate is a thing. Okay, let me look at the proof. I haven't had a chance to look at the proof. Um, Goblin Defense. Okay, this one's a pure defensive uh, character. Do I do Shield All or do I go for Protect? That's the main question. I think Protect makes a lot of sense because I have Repost. Reflect rather. Um, casual Shielding. Max Mana, I guess. It's good. Uh, ooh, Multi Reject. Okay, that's the thing. Uh, okay, we definitely want all those combo shielding. I'm not going to bother with this skill 3, right? So I can be more liberal with this skill 3. Um, I can barrier the whole party. Uh, defense from equipment, let's keep that in mind. And... Mana regen from equipment. Mm, I guess we'll leave that open-ended first. I'm going to be using shields most of the time. Okay. Equipment. Uh, unequip everything from inactive monsters. Oh, I have four slots. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I'm not going to lie. If I'm not going to be attacking, why do I need to bother with an attack weapon? Right? This is defense base. This is defense base. This is... I don't care about attack right now, so I'm going to actually use the orb, even though I'm supposed to be a physical attacker. Okay, so defense from equipment goes up. Okay, I have more than enough mana regen with. Oh, in that case, I can get a Cestus instead. Yeah. Uh, I I want all the defense in the world. Diadem? Is that the best I've got? Bell. Bell is... Oh no, there's a shell somewhere. Where's the shell? Koi has a shell. Can you take something else? There's 
booster plus five. I really want the shell here because uh, then it makes sense to get yeah like yeah this is such a big boost okay so a bit of mana region I guess Skills mana regen. Oh, then this extra slot is going to be pretty low impact. Not gonna lie. Can I be that first? Okay. I like this. Uh, armor break. I'm not really a debuff heavy party. I think we want to stack armor break on an enemy. Okay. Shield is nice, I guess. I guess we'll go this way. I think I'm trying not to do the AOE side. It's not like spreading AoE, like armor break across everything will be helpful. Yeah. Applying a buff also apply a shield. I'm not gonna be buffing, I'm. Wait, I am gonna be buffing. Using Forge. Okay, we take that. Alright, uh, before I finish out the skill points, let's do our equipment. Uh, physical. So, Claws 2. Claws 2 is pretty bad. I guess it is going to be clause 2 after all. Uh, Bracer 5 obviously. I don't really care about crits, so... I should just tank up. And get something that gives a bit of mana regen. I'm running out of such equipment now. Also, my team is very physically oriented. This is a problem. Huh. Okay, if I take the sustain ring, I can use a different weapon. Am 
like morning star. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I do need to return to base though. Because a Morning Star 2 is just not going to cut it as far as damage is concerned. Guess what this is going to be Bracer. I'm going to be shielding most of the time, right? So 20% of my defense. It should be something shieldy. Nah, I'll take the bracer. I, I do need to balance uh, health and uh, defense. Okay, let's open this orange. Uh, let's go back. I need to improve some of my equipment. This. Oh, I'm out of steel. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh yikes. I'm stuck with plus three weapons. Mm. I guess that's how it goes then. <laughs> ah this is a buff action, isn't it? So we should do combo buffing. Uh, goblin minor. Well I'm supposed to be a tank at the end of the day, so. up I guess. I may as well get lifeline. No. No no no. When will I ever get charged stacks? I'll leave it as this. Uh, brood, I'll also just tank up. Do I need this? Five, five. Hmm, I might do. Then I take health. Everyone gets a carrot. Okay. We'll see what we can make do uh, with this team. I don't have a lot of confidence, but we'll give it a go. Next time, we'll cut the video here. Tune in next time to see if my attempts will be as futile as previously. See ya.